Hi, Bernard. Hi, Another Carsten. network video, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, we tend to use a lot of network videos in the stretch cluster series, right? Uh, now, this time, it's the additional cluster networks. And let me bring you, or let me briefly explain, explain why we are using that. Uh, because this is not something that is in the documentation, at least from our side, but we thought that it is really beneficial to have. Um, so we, yeah, we both agree that uh, we would require this uh, in a stretch cluster scenario, right? Especially, Why? Yeah. Uh, Bernard, especially in our scenario where we only yeah. have a one gigabit management network, we, we really require it, mm -hmm. but it's also useful in other scenarios where you have separate storage replica switches yeah. or where you want to separate your traffic live migration and other things from the management network to another network right yeah um, yeah I, I i totally agree and maybe on the next slide we'll uh, we'll try to uh, uh repeat the same thing with uh, uh with uh, with a different view right so but we are using it for um the heartbeat the cluster communication because it's a very high uh, bandwidth network with a low latency. So um, that's good to use it for the cluster as well. Then for the live migration um, and a redirected IO, this is maybe something that you may not think immediately about, but when you have your virtual machines moved over to the other side, then you have redirected IO and you don't want to have it over a one gigabit link, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There is, so we have two of them. Um, which will be routed together um, and um, all in total or two on each side, which uh, makes four in total um, and they will be routed uh, together. And as Carsten said, we are using a different uh, routing switch for that. Uh, that's uh, why we uh, keep the traffic in an additional network adapter. Mm -hmm. And we are not doing RDMA between those two sites. Yeah, we will we will do a special video about routing. Then there will yeah. Yeah. it will enlighten more what we mean here. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So we will talk about routing there. So show us. Yes, yeah. So um, basically, you know, this is uh, this is the different networking view. It's it's the two ones on top, right? So also different IP addresses, different VLANs, um, because we want to do it routing, and it, um, it's much easier to to route the traffic if you have different VLANs, especially from most of the switches I know. Um, yes, and basically, you know, our bluish uh, networks at the bottom here, um, this is our one gigabit link, right, uh, which we will route, but we also will use, you know, um, and, and this on top here is a, a, a 100 gigabit connection. So you see why we'll wanna use these ones for uh, for something like live migration, for example, right? Okay, um, let me just go over to the hardware slide. So um, as said, we are using the Mellanox adapters again, um, the 100 gigabit adapters, and we are creating um, just two other virtual adapters sitting on the storage switch um, using the 100 gigabit Mellanox adapters as we use for the replication traffic, right? Mm -hmm. And I okay. think that's it. So no routing, just the creation of the um, of the um, of the network adapters. All right. So I'll hand it over to you. Okay. Here I am again. Uh, uh, if you watch the series so far, this is already a similar uh, uh, picture. You know. So here's the script. Uh, it is basically the same script uh, as we use for SMB and replica, the replica networks. So I will just copy this stuff here over and it will ask me for the last part of the IP address. Again, it's a 51. Mm -hmm. Then we have to decide in which site the host is and which network we use. Mm -hmm. So we here are the cluster networks. Uh, Bernard has specified also in the video, we will set them. Mm -hmm. On this host and i will do that the stuff on the other hosts after the video of course mm -hmm. so then again we do a network team mapping and therefore we need the name of the hardware adapter 
this is why we get the Mellanox 100 gigabit adapter. And then here again, it's basically the same. Add a virtual network adapter in the management OS, uh, and then we will give it an IP address. We will mm -hmm. turn off the DNS registration. We will set the VLAN uh, tag on the adapter. We disable NetBIOS here. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we uh, do I, uh, IEEE priority tags on mm -hmm. um, so that they can be used on this adapter because we use live migration, we use uh, cluster traffic here. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we disable RDMA because it's it's inter-site traffic and Microsoft doesn't allow in a stretch cluster scenario RDMA to be used for inter-site traffic. And then this is the team mapping. So let's, let's just do that. Mm -hmm. And again, it's two times, and the routing will be in a separate video. Uh, we have to add some routes here, of course, otherwise uh, our live migration or whatever we want to do with these networks can't reach the other side. Uh, but yeah, the only route that we have or that I remember is our default gateway, right, which is hooked to the exactly. management network. So that's the default route for any any traffic will go to the to your um default gateway Other side, at the yeah. moment yeah we yeah. don't have yeah we don't have a site specific routing rule yet i mean it's just the gateway the only one that you have exactly so and these routes be... are a little bit special but we will talk about that in mm. the routing video so yeah. now he is done uh, if we do a get net adapter and I always write it wrong. in my head. There is a miswiring. Yeah, funny, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then I would so, have a similar miswiring. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you see here, we have now the two cluster adapters. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I changed something between the videos. So here was an Ethernet 7 and another Ethernet adapter. I renamed wow. them to, they are Intel E801, uh, 810 adapters. We don't use them. They are disabled, but uh, it bugged me that we had still Ethernet okay. something here. So <laughs> this is nothing you have to do, but it's just to have a clearer picture. So okay. now we have our adapters. And in the next video, we will have some fun with routing and maybe mm. also some moving around of stuff. Right, Bernard? <laughs> yeah, see you there. See you there.